hey welcome back and we already know what the animation pane is and that's where all the tricks come in you see those little bars they are pretty fairly small the thing is here you can click on each animation separately and you can both extend its duration and you can delay the animation by a little bit so in this let, let's make something here i would like the second and third animation to be very slow animations let me put those together those if i would like to make them slow or appear later i would delay them and i would extend their duration the same goes for the motion pad i don't want this to fly so quick through the screen i would like this to fly through the screen for like 10 seconds no problem i could just extend the duration and make it 10 seconds i can also click here and delay it manually also i can extend those manually but this is often very difficult to master because like you can't have always perfect control over those animations and you cannot anticipate where exactly this will end you have here seven seconds and if there are more animations it's a bit difficult but what i did change i did change the durations and the delays i would like you to click on each of those objects and extend their duration later on once you learn everything here just by looking at the animation pane you will know exactly what's happening here so let's say that i have something like that and without having the animation pane i see that everything happens on mouse click number one but i do not know how long it will take to play this entire animation i'll open the animation pane i see such big bars i can immediately say that this takes about seven seconds or ten seconds so just looking by that and those two animations are delayed or maybe make them even more delayed just so you see the difference okay right now on the screen what will happen i'll just show you in a moment so the first one will start to slowly fade out those will do nothing until the fourth fifth second and then they will start to this will start to fly out and this will slowly start to emphasis like bounce and during that during this entire animation this will very slowly float until it reaches the end okay let me click my mouse you see we have a completely different result by changing the timings of animations and now you can start to imagine what's possible if we apply for example several animations to one object you can create explainer videos you can create like complete youtube animations you could create animations for your clients and this is where the entire fun comes in once you know a bit more about animations your task for this lecture extend the duration of animations make them delayed and just watch what happens